Okay, before we can work our way down further, uh, we're going to need to quickly go over this general area. Now, um, all we have under here are this vertex count. So uh, basically, the vertex count affects the quality of this um, this raid spline, and um, it's an, it doesn't mean that the, uh, it's an actual precise vertex count, but it's more of how many times the spline is split uh, along this way as it's being created. So um, if I again um, similar to how we discussed earlier with mesh colliders, so the lower the number, the, uh, you know, the better the performance, the higher number, the better the the quality of this line here, or the quality of this part of the of the raid spline. Now, the next thing down is the anti-aliasing width. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about it, but it's uh, the way that um, ra uh, raid spline uh, does anti-aliasing. And again, it's um, you can have pretty much um, none or or too much. So this is just a number that you have to personally tweak. And if you look down here at the um, the bottom game view, you can see as I increase this value, it it makes it actually too blurry. And if I have it too low, it'll be uh, almost like eight bit. You'll have those uh, jaggies. Um, that are created, which you would normally see a long time ago on um, eight or even 16-bit games, uh, or especially 16-bit games. So unless that's something you're looking for and you want some anti-aliasing, you're going to have to play around with this value till you can tweak it to get um, the the best uh, bang for your buck, as as they would say. So um, moving forward, um, the last two boxes or check boxes here are the showing these gizmos so the show spline gizmos if this is checked off it would be showing these um, points and the handlebars so if I check these off you'll notice here that they will disappear and they're out of our way and um, this is good for when you're working and you just need to see how things are looking and they're kind of getting in your way you can turn them off and you just click it back it will bring them back and uh, all the other gizmos for example the fill and uh, the embossing and actually to, we haven't discussed texturing but texturing also has its own gizmo they fall under this other gizmo so if we check that off you'll notice that they go away so that's pretty much it for um, the, this general area. Uh, now we will be working our way down to coordinates.